Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 2.2 Use picture graphs and our essential question is How can you read and interpret data in a picture graph? Okay, so let's unlock the problem A picture graph uses small pictures or symbols to show and compare information so in the past lesson we used tallies and we used numbers to make a frequency table today it's something called picture graph so here we will use pictures instead of numbers or tallies okay so here we have a problem nick has a picture graph that shows how some students get to school how many students ride the bus okay so here underline the words that tell you where to find the information to answer the question so nick has a picture graph so we will use this picture graph to solve our question so what we need to underline here is the picture graph okay here he asks how many symbols or smiles are shown for bus okay so for bus we have one two three four five six seven eight symbols or eight smiles okay so let's look at this picture graph we have a really important thing here which is the key the key is like the key that you unlock the lock with it okay or it's like a clue so here he says that each symbol means or equals 10 students so each symbol means 10 students so for example for the students who go to school walking we don't count one two three no we count each symbol is 10 so we count by 10 so 10 20 30 so who go to school walking are 30 okay and who go on bike they are 10 20 30 40 and so on okay so the question says how many students ride the bus so how many take the bus Okay, so to find the number of students who ride the bus, count each symbol as 10 students. So, we will count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 so 80 students ride the bus to school okay here he asks how many fewer students how many fewer students walk than ride the bus if you remember guys we said how many fewer or how many more it means we are doing minus so let's see how many students walk and how many students ride the bus so who walk guys we count them 10 20 30 and who ride the bus we counted them now 80 so we should compare the 80 to 30 means we will subtract 80 minus 30 which is 50 he asks us here how many students were surveyed so how many students were surveyed it means he needs the number of all of the students okay so let's see how many go by car 10 20 30 40 50 60 okay so we need to add all of these 30 plus 40 plus 80 plus 60 so 30 plus 40 plus 80 plus 60 
Okay, so 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. Here 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 plus 6 is 21. So we'll write the 21. So it's a 210 students. Okay, here, what if the symbol stands for five students? How many symbols will you need to show the number of students who walk to school? So if the symbol is five students, not 10 students. So how many symbols will we use? Okay, so let's see. So we needed three symbols because each symbol was 10. So if the symbol is only five students, it means we will need to double the number of symbols because each two symbols now means 10. So we will use instead of three symbols, this will mean only 15. So we will need 15 more or we'll need three symbols more so we will need six symbols so if each symbol is 10 we will need only three because they are 30 if each symbol is five it means we will need six symbols okay here use a half symbol okay so sometimes in the picture graph we see something like this this is half symbol so here he asks how many students choose an orange as their favorite fruit okay so for the orange we have four symbols and a half and here look at the key the key says that each symbol each smile means two students okay so if each smile is two students what is half of a smile mean so each one means two so half of the smile means one student okay so the smile means two so half of the smile means only one so if we count it will be like this two four six eight and half of the smile is one so eight plus one is nine so let's count two four six eight so we have eight and the half of the smile is one so eight plus one is nine so nine students choose an orange as their favorite fruit okay now for share and show use the number of books students read picture graph for one two three okay so here we have the picture graph and it says look at the key always look at the key that each book or each symbol means two books okay so the first question is what does half of a book stand for so the full book symbol means two books so the half means only one book so this is one book and this is the other half one book so half of the symbol means one book so it means one book because half of the two is only one okay number two how many books did the students read in september so in september let's count each symbol or each book means two books so we'll count by two so two four six and half of the book means one book so it's seven so the total here is seven books now number three how many more books did the students read in October than in November? Okay, so if you remember, guys, how many more? We will do minus. So let's see how many on October and how many on November. So in October, we have, we'll count by two. So two, four, six, eight, ten, 
12 so in October it's 12 let's write it here and in November in November it's 2 4 6 8 so let's write it here so it will be 12 minus 8 which is 4 so it's 4 books or we have another way look at the symbols here look at the symbols here we can see that we have two books here more than two books here on October more than on November and two books means each book each symbol means two books so they are two four so we have four books in October more than November okay guys I hope you understand this lesson remember to always look at the key the key tells you what the symbol is okay so have a nice day and goodbye